Hello everyone and welcome to the final segment of Escape from Lip Mountain. Uh, Lip Valley. I completely forgot because it's super late at night. Let's get into it right away because there's a lot of talking. Of course, if you want to help me out in any way possible, remember to always leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. Um, more than you probably know. And that's it. Let's go in. People have been really good on hitting that like. Let's finish this Lip Interlude. And now here we are making our way to the exit. Now how you feel, Master. You're exhausted, body and soul. I'll admit I underestimated Lip's pheromones once Mib's group was out of the picture. I never thought we'd run into Gil, Saber, and <laughs> Anne, Mary, Arjuna, Martha, the Lion, the Elephant, the Sheep, Helena, Semiramis, Abi, Anderson, Benkai, Caligula, Phantom, the Pitch Black Puppy Boy, Me Mecha El Elichan, and Smart Gil. And from all those other presences, I'm sensing it doesn't look like we're anywhere near out of the woods yet. That's my alter ego for you. As an event planner myself, I do have to give her props for the way she causes chaos wherever she goes. I'm glad you're happy about this, but I'm not sure. I'm sure not. I'm doing my best to bite my tongue so nobody picks on me and they just keep coming by the truckload. Wait, did all these things actually happen in Caldea? Yes, yeah, so that's my past trauma coming back to haunt me. The real me doesn't remember them very well, so the details might be a little off. But that's basically how the other servants always gang up on me, isn't it awful? That's why I have to deal with all the time. I don't even bother them like Bibi does. And as you can see, she has absolutely nothing in the way of self-awareness. It's like she doesn't even realize her thoughtless remarks are what set these people off. Still, Lip wouldn't be Lip otherwise. Right? I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just careful. I'm just carefully choosing my words while making sure to still be honest. All I said is that Maeve's good looks aren't helping her get any dates, that Dion lacks the decisiveness needed to be a good defender, and that Paris is too over the place to leave a real impression. Perfectly harmless, right? Hmm, I forget how rough it was seeing an unabashed dark side up close like this, especially when the girl it belongs to is so clueless. Even if it is just for a second, Secret Garden Ego speaking, there's no way her contracted master could completely cover for this. Uh, that means a lot coming from the one who cut her off in the first place. Since we're coming up to the end game here, I'm just gonna let that one slide. Well, okay, this is Lip's biggest problem. The lack of self awareness, along with the torment me vibe, she can't help but radiate and only makes her ma masochistic, no, masochistic. Masochistic nature even stronger. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the word and made it better. But this is who she is. It's not the kind of thing you can fix in a day. Hell, in her case, it's not the kind of thing she can ever fix. However, the good news is that her masochistic nature doesn't need it to be fixed because it's not negative. That's where Lip went wrong, thinking of the secret garden as something that needed to be hidden or corrected. As her master, I hope you can understand and accept that. If you tell her you don't mind her masochistic nature at all, uh, or that you should that you'll still like her just the way she is, it ought to help a lot. Oh. We alter ego's secret gardens lie beyond the walls we put up in our hearts. Once you come to know and accept her secret, that's what a soccer series alter ego really shines. Though of course as the soccer series goes, Lip and Mel are pretty easy to read. Lip's skin might be highly sensitive, but she's oblivious to when it comes to other people's feelings. Metalurus, Metalurus on the other hand, can barely feel anything on her skin, but she's sharp as a tack about others' feelings. Oh, you were finally saying something nice about me. Did you really have to bring up Melt Up now, BB? Yeah, <laughs> sure did. Based on my battle, you didn't even notice that we'd reach our destination. Alright, Wokey, take a look at your next arena. That is the last obstacle at this simplified soccer labyrinth, as well as its exit. For our final scene, I called the strongest sentinel from to teach Lip a lesson to being so self-centered. That's another alter ego. And not just her, she's also joined by everyone's favorite mastermind and threat to humanity, BB. Huh, but you were over here, where'd she go? Yeah, <laughs> you didn't really think I was going to help you out for nothing, did you? That was all just an act I put on so I could get Lip the lesson she needs. And you, my little Wookiee, were nothing more than a carrot meant to lead her to the class. Yes, that's about the size of it. Looks like you've been up to some real nonsense again, Lip. Well, you can't get away with this crap forever. Our resources are too damn precious to waste like this. I can't believe BB went and called Melt. 
Now then, as I said earlier, lips problems aren't the sort of thing you can fix in a day. But... Save for the sake of argument, she witnessed her beloved master get killed right in front of her mind. Don't you think that would shock her into stringing out her act at least a bit? Which is why I decided to bring in a professional to finish the job. There's only so much amateurs like Maeve can do to really put the screws to Lip after all. But if Lip's exact opposite Metalurus, aka the alter ego of pleasure, aka the sadistic Prima with the sadistic streak secret garden were to carve up Lip's precious master, forget it, I'm out of here. So you're not gonna carve her up? This is your once in a lifetime chance to do whatever you want with my approval. Are you freaking kidding me? I already do what I want. When I want, I couldn't care less what you, whether you approve. And this, I'm not feeling it. I do love beating up on people, but not in no interest of beating up on myself. Besides, isn't this being a bad guy more your thing? If Caldea has made any, uh, many of us lose her touch, mother, I'd say you're trying to pawn your dirty work off on your own daughter, wouldn't you? Ouch, I'm going to need a skin grass after that burn. Alright, Lip, you don't need uh, my grief or my help at this point, so I'm out. Sorry for bothering you. Melt, thank you for understanding how I feel. Woki, well, okay, I do want to share my secrets with you. But I would have sooner died than let her see them. Uh... Is that because you're both trying to push each other out as rivals? Right, that's exactly the sort of relationship Melt and I have. Huh, I can't believe the guest of honor canceled on me at the last minute after I went to all the trouble of setting the stage. Makes me so sad, but that doesn't mean she was wrong. Making a bad situation worse than kicking someone when she's down is what I do best. Really, now that I think about it, why shouldn't I get to do whatever I want with my own alter ego? I don't need a broken ass AI who can, can't determine her own effectiveness for a dam, so I'll just melt her down, master and all. Lip will be off to the scrap heap and Woki will finally come to an ignominious end. What, you think that's a bit extreme? Well, of course it is. I do like teasing humanity, but I love tormenting myself even more. Hmm. If you think I'm going to let Woki die for that completely sensible reason, you've got another thing coming. Besides, now I'm really mad. I can forgive a lot of things, but bringing Melt here was a bridge too far. You have to handle the... You handle the orders, please, Master. Teach me to be a lesson ourselves. Okay. Hoo boy. Let's do it. I wish I had known it was BB, because then I would have brought Martha. Because my Martha is specifically designed to just mess up BB's life. Hey, BB. Ah! Sorry if that got a little too close to my chest. Okay, let's see, let's see. I'm gonna go this way, because I... You know, I don't think I can, but it's possible for me to... get a loop off of, um... Saber over here. I forgot that that completely removes it, I'm so stupid. I clicked on the wrong damn button. Alright, it's fine. I'll just do this. Of course you did that. Hmm. I'll go to this. I ruined my chance of doing a potential M MP loop, but it's fine. That'll take so damage. Crash and crush. Alright, do your thing, melt. Not melt, uh, passion lip. Shit. 
she really does have crazy big hands. They're so crazy 3D too. It's really insane how big they are. Ow. Hmm. I could do that again. That sounds pretty good to me. I know for a fact BB can only target one person, so I'll just keep um, Saber alive and I'll be fine. It's funny when I said like, oh, I'm gonna try Saber looping, and then somehow I ended up almost looping with Melt. It's funny that way. It was completely by accident. I don't even know how the hell she got so much of that MP. Oh, maybe it was from the hits. Those helped a bit. Okay, perfect. Again, save her. There we go. And hopefully, maybe next turn I can end this. Depending on how much damage I do here. Not enough, I think. Let's see who BB hits. Ha! Huh, she hit the worst possible person. <laughs> oh, dumb BB. You so dumb. You could have literally killed anyone else. Ooh, will I be able to redeem myself? And by myself, I mean Saber, if she's able to actually loop with this. I don't think she can loop with, um, without full arts, so... She needs, like, two arts cards. The quick card kind of holds her back, I think. Unless it crits. But the chances of that happening are very slim. Yeah, she needs double arts. Take a sip of that water. Hit him with everything. I forget how good my saber is because she's MP2. It really makes her fantastic. She was already good at like MP1. It just makes her better for no reason. Well, other than you got two copies of her, I guess that is the actual reason. I'm losing my mind because it. Lo I looked at the second. It was like, oh my god, is someone awake already? The answer was no, they were not. I don't think she deals enough damage to kill BB, but swimming. Bye, bye, BB. Jesus. That was with a crit too. <laughs> she almost got it all back. What are you talking about, Weaver? And that's it. All right. Time to end this. Just kidding. Did you really think you could get rid of me that easily? I can do anything in digital worlds, including cheating to give myself infinite lives. I swear, you really are a useless sucker if you didn't even realize that. The only way to purge me from a digital space is to trash the process for the entire zone. That pitiful performance won't help you escape, now face your punishment for defying your god. Ugh, I really don't think I can take any more of this. Get out of here, Lip. But if we run away now, BB will really kill you. She always follows through on whatever she says, even if she's only playing around. I have to stop her now, but I don't know if I... Ah. I knew it. I knew I could never be as badass as Melt. All I can do is sit here and suffer. I'm weak, useless. Although that's strange, even though it hurts like hell. It also feels like I'm bursting with power. 
spark. Something oh, seems off about this. That's it. That's your true power. Secret Garden 2. The power Lip's been repressing to keep her good girl act. It's completely absurd that you've even been keeping that under wraps. You have to fall before you can stand. You gotta be losing before you can turn things around. <laughs> you must build up some emotion when you're being tormented. Now's the time to unleash it physically. The way I see it, your greatest strength, or put another way, the most terrifying attribute, is your ability to turn pain into power. I see? Please don't say things like that in front of Master. Stupid, stupid, stupid BB Brunhilde Romantica! Romantia. I said Romantica, huh? Oh shit, I'm glad that went the way I wanted, but I wasn't expecting to take it. To take it to head on. And now evil has been vanquished. Oh, the Romantia was powerful enough to bust up this whole zone. But hey, at least you got it now, right? Masochistic nature isn't just about enduring pain. Your true power is the explosive force that comes from enduring that pain. You can't keep that hidden away from yourself. After all, you were never going to be better heroin than me by trying to be a teacher's pet. Your denseness is what makes you you, so I hope you stay that way forever. That's all I've got to say. Oh, and don't worry about Woki. She'll get booted back to reality, reality space in a minute or two. It's real you just succeeded at solving your firmer scrap heap. Don't you want to thank her or something, Lip? Hmm. No way I'm thanking her. I would have solved this problem all on my own. No, I guess I couldn't have solved it all on my own. Not to mention I ended up having some of my more embarrassing parts exposed. Still, I guess she was right. I can't force myself to be someone I'm not. Especially if it makes trouble for you. I'm so sorry, Wookie, but this is who I am. Pessimistic, dishonest, heavy, troublesome. So will you scold me when I'm misbehaving? Will you still be my master even with all my faults? You have to ask. <laughs> then I guess I'd better not let you down. Please take good care of my real self. We may still have a lot to learn, but I promise we'll work as hard as we can to catch up to everyone else. So until we do, I hope you'll hold my hand. As long as you're by my side, I think I can find a way to change who I am. That rooster was uh, from my side of the... It's almost time for them to wake up. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so glad I managed to salvage you. Are you hurt? Are you injured? Are you feeling all right? You are okay, right? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. What a relief. Once again, I'm so sorry, Wookie. It's all my fault you were almost trashed and crushed. I guess you must really hate me now. Who'd want to keep, them, keep around someone who dropped them into a garbage dump? But don't worry, I'll stay away from you from now on. I'll just hide in one of Caldea's corners and live out in the rest of my materialization as a rogue servant, doing what I can to help from the shadows. It's actually really pleasant in there. Really? I don't know if all that I don't know that all my uh, I don't know all that much about my body, so I thought you might have hated it in there. But I can tell you're not lying. You must have been through a lot, so I asked Bibi to help you. But you're still holding my hand. And on top of that, I'm feeling great. It's all thanks to you, Wookie. But I could take on anyone right now. Would you like me to get to the simulator and see? I'm really feeling pumped up for some reason. I wonder why. Fine with me, but what do we do for an opponent? Don't worry, I've got that covered. I know plenty of other servers who'd be willing to fight. There's Meta, Dion, Pardesio, Hijikata, and I'm sure there's a lot overs if I asked. <laughs> I'm sure I'll end up losing, but in the end, it. But that'll be fun too. Okay, let's go, Master. I'm going to make you proud to have me as a servant. Let's 
skill up. Apply target focus one turn, increase defense. Apply target fo focus one turn, increase defense for yourself. And apply a state where your attack increase your lower your HP. Activate when HP is below 50%. Level 6, 3 turns. Alright. That was Lips Interlude, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little mini-series. If you did, remember to leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever you might see from me. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.